We have a question from Peter. <clears throat> Peter asks, do you have any specific exercises, cues, or tips for improving my glute activation during workouts and everyday life? Well, yeah, I'll do one right now. It's when you squeeze your butt cheeks. Uh, a really good exercise with working with older clients is to have them lay on the ground and cup their own butt cheeks, their own butt cheeks, and then they just squeeze and then you teach them, it's like the old pec thing I've taught my, I don't know if you can see it because it's black, but I'm squeezing my pecs one at a time. And you actually, so you just lay on the ground, put your palms and your butt cheeks, and you practice squeezing them. Um, another thing that's helped me immensely as a coach is the glute band, and we put it just a few inches above the knee. So we're doing something like a goblet squat or some of the different hinge variations, not the swing, because... That'll be in the way, but the Bulgarian goat bag swing is made for it. While I'm thinking of that, uh, go to my other uh, videos and go to the Hinge family and look at some of the different variations. By pushing those that glute band out uh, while you're doing a hinge, it, it forces the glute to activate in the way we want it to activate. Um, those are the two I use. We do a lot of hip thrusts. We do a lot of clamshells. Uh, today, even in fact, I noticed after doing hip thrusts and clamshells, I was doing goblet squats as part of the as part of the sequence, and I decided to go a little bit faster. And I felt the clamshelling effect of squatting, and I thought that oh, was kind of cool. So we're always learning, and we're always experimenting. Peter, I hope that helped. Thank you.